Hey guys, this is Daniel from Tutorial Brothers. Um, okay, so let's say you're on your computer editing video and you need some stock footage. So you get out your Action Essentials pack or you go to DetonationFilms.com. So when you get your stock footage, you drag it onto your screen and it has a white background or black or green or blue and it may even be all gray. Um, it's not already keyed like most stock footage is like this <clears throat> where is it that's awkward so it's not already keyed like most footage is like this. There we go. So most footage, as you can see, um, is keyed already. But if it does have the white, black, green, blue, or are all fully gray backgrounds, then that is what I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of and how to use today. So, let us do that. So, well, first of all, if it's green or blue, that just means you have to uh, key it. It's just like a green screen or a blue screen. And you can go watch our video on green screening in Motion 5 at the top right of this video. Just click that clickable link right there. So that gets rid of that. Now, if it has a black background, let me show you how to do that. It's really easy. Let me get my footage of that. Okay, movies. By the way, um, all the stock footage you see right now, you can get it for free at the top left of this video. So just click that annotation. Okay. So let's say your smoke puff comes with a black background. It's not already key. Really quick, let me crop off the text right there. Okay, so what you want to do is select your video, your footage, go to inspector, properties, Go down to blending and you go to blend mode and you click it and you go down until you see screen. There you go. It's gone. That simple. Can't really see my smoke since it's white, but it's there, I'm telling you. Here. Okay. So we see my smoke. So that is how you get rid of the black background. It's called screen, and that is on Final Cut as well. So now with a white background. So let me get my picture here with the white background. Works video or picture, but I don't have video of it right now. So let's say it comes with like that, with the white background, and you only want the burn mark. So go to Inspector, Properties, Blend Mode, and I think it is Darken. Yep, there we go. And it is keyed out for you. That is how you do that. And that is all three of them. But let's say it comes all gray kinda like I, I guess you can say it looks like it's kinda of clay maybe here this is what I'm talking about see at the top right so I'm gonna show you how to use that so let's bring it in here um so this you can't key it out or anything. This is more of 
just a blending and make it look like it's in there kind of process. So we're going to select our clip, go to properties, blend mode, and go all the way down, not all the way down, little way down, <laughs> and it's called linear light. No, it's not called linear light. Wait, let me find which one it is. No. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a little confused, and I had to do some tests, and I didn't want to bore you guys. And also, I deleted my footage by accident, but I got it. Never mind. You don't need to worry about it. <laughs> so, let's get our footage where it's all gray. Drag it on. And what we're going to do, scale it down where we want it. Now, we're going to Inspector, File Browser, I mean, no, sorry, Inspector, go down Properties, then we're going to go down to Blending, in the Blend Mode, we're going to change it to Linear Light. And right now, that looks, um, the middle looks pretty good, um, but the edges, you can see, are a lot different than my actual video. If I zoom in here, whoa, I zoomed in a lot. So as you can see, along here, it is different coloring. So we're going to have to make that blend in there and make it look like it's part of the movie. So what we're going to do is um, select it and then go down to our mask and uh, select rectangle and just do a rectangle as close to the edges as you can of our stock footage so let me show you we're gonna um, here's where our stock footage starts down and then we have our mask just a little bit above that and to the sides of that just surrounding it right so now we're gonna select our mask and go to the inspector and hit the mask button and here we have some mask controls and we're going to go down to feather and we are going to bring that all the way um, down so minus 100 and then we're going to do the fall off 100 all the way up so feather all the way down fa uh, fall off all the way up and that already looks pretty good but as you can see there's still um you can't really see the black i mean you can't but to make it look better we're going to go to our filters go to color correction and contrast we're going to bring our contrast a little bit up. It starts on 1, we'll go 1.7. That's how little. So, also, um, we are going to go to color correction and brighten our stock footage a little bit. Right there. Right there. And look how perfect that looks. That looks like there's a big hole in our lawn now. And you don't see any line around there. And that is how you use the stock footage if it is all gray around it. So, I do believe that is it. Um, thank you for watching. And make sure you check out my tutorial on green screening. Or our tutorial on green screening at the top right and make sure to check out our stock footage video where on the top left where we give away a ton of stock footage you can just go to that and download all the stock footage you want 
So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, please support us by subscribing, liking, and favoriting. And tell your friends about us. Um, and that is it. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. Well, I guess you might not be watching this if it's Christmas. But anyways, have a good life. Bye.